Hello, and welcome to a fun subterranean press unboxing. I think I know what's in this. I believe, because I didn't get a shipping notification, I believe this is an arc of... Whoop, an arc of Dark Carnival by Bradbury, as illustrated by Dave McKean. That is really cool. Uh, so, Subterranean Press, or namely Bill at Sub Press, uh, did a contest on a Subterranean Press a readers group where he showcased uh, the image of the cover and the slipcase, and he said, hey, can you guys figure out uh, what is different from this. Not, not really a spot the difference, but more of like, hey, this is what it's going to look like. One thing is intentionally changed on it to, you know, differentiate it from the, uh, what will be the actual publication. And whoever gets it correctly first will receive a free copy of Dark Carnival. Uh, which, you know, I got to take a swing at that. Uh, so I took a guess. Uh, I thought maybe it was on the slipcase. The text was kind of backwards or flipped. Uh, it turns out there was nothing wrong with the image. Uh, everybody made their guesses. And uh, Bill said he accidentally uploaded the wrong image. So it was uh, nothing wrong with it. And he went, reached out to Gwenda Bond in order to pick a winner to receive a free copy. Uh, I had thought maybe it meant getting a free copy of the novel when it came out. Uh, but then this box arrived at my door. Uh, which leads me to believe that it was instead a free copy of the ARC, which I'm still fine with. I mean, it's incredible. You know, it was funny. I uh, I just did a, a video, book comparison video, where uh, the artwork was by Samuel Araya for one of the editions. And I was like, yeah, Samuel Araya did artwork for a subterranean press edition, but I couldn't think of what, who the name was. Uh, Stephen Gallagher. It was the best of Stephen Gallagher uh, collection. So how about that? That video actually hasn't been uploaded yet because I just did a book review video and I like to kind of space those out if I can. So, you know, subscribe to the channel and in another day or two, you're going to see a book and book comparison video that showcases a uh, book featuring Samuel, Samuel Araya's artwork. So anyways, Dark Carnival here. Uh, was published by Bradbury back in the 70s? What did it say, 75? 75. 75. Oh, 70, oh, sorry, Dark Carnival, 47 renewed in 75. So many years ago, we're coming up on the 80th anniversary soon. Um, and then in the 90s, it was uh, done as a signed limited edition by Gauntlet Press. Well, it's been about 30 years since that happened. Uh, so now Subterranean Press are giving it their own one-two punch in their own edition, this time featuring the artwork of Dave McKean, who is a legend in his own right. Uh, I'm actually kind of enjoying this, uh, the size of it. I mean, obviously it's a square book uh, in terms of the trim size. Uh, and it's going to have a slipcase. So it's going to actually be very similar to the trim size and slipcase for Full Throttle by Joe Hill. Uh, which was also illustrated by Dave McKean. So I, I'm really kind of liking the uh, the format here. I think Dave McKean did... What was the weight of words? Was the weight of words Dave McKean? Because in my mind, the weight of words was David Ho. I'm trying to picture the, art, the cover artwork, and in my mind, I'm picturing David Ho's artwork. But that one was square, too, but it wasn't quite the same trim size. So it looks like McKean did a piece of artwork for every single short story, which is incredible. Uh, one thing that is unique to this edition, other than the artwork, uh, is that it includes the lost stories in the back. So it, it's more than just Dark Carnival. It's Dark Carnival plus Dark Carnival 2.0, if you will. Uh, I don't own. I don't, actually, no, I, was say, I do own a copy of the, the Gauntlet edition, I believe. I don't think I've read it. I don't, I mean, I know I never read the, I know, I know I didn't read the Gauntlet edition. I don't believe I've read any other edition of Dark Carnival. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, paperback editions of Bradbury that I've read. None of them would have been Dark Carnival. I've read, like, Fahrenheit 451, uh, something wicked, of course. Uh, so, what better way to dive in than to read one that is illustrated with one image per story by Dave McKean? You know what Dave McKean also did in artwork for with just in a 
abundance of artwork, the Gormenghast trilogy. So this past weekend, Gormenghast, uh, not illustrated by Dave McKean, was announced by Suntop. Uh, that one is illustrated by oh, something Thompson? Something Thompson is the art artist's name? I could be mistaken on there. Uh, it looks stunning. It looks like a like middle age like tapestry with the artwork that they're doing. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but a couple of years prior, uh, Folio Society did their own edition of Gorman Gas that was heavily illustrated by Dave McKean. Uh, introduced by Neil Gaiman, which just kind of goes perfect hand in hand because they've worked together many a time. Uh, such as uh, was it the day I swapped my dad for two goldfish. Is that what the, that, that book was called? The Next in Line. So anyways, I'm just kind of gushing over Dave McKean there. I'm actually going to be doing a video on Gorman Gast, the folio edition, The Lost Stories. Here we are. That's a pretty, you know, pretty substantial amount of lost stories there. Excuse me, they bump into the tripod. Um, so anyways, thank you very much, Bill, and thank you for Gwenda. Gwenda. Uh, like I said, Gwenda kind of just picked a person at random, and I was that person, and I am forever grateful for that. Um... Like I said, hopefully I'll have a copy of the numbered edition to showcase on the channel as well. It's not for sale yet. Uh, it goes on sale... I don't know. I don't know when it's going to go on sale. There's all, the, there's all the copyright information. Look at all that copyright. All that copyright. Uh, it hasn't gone on sale yet. Look at... Uh, well, I presume these will be the end papers. They're not the end papers in the arc, but I presume those will be full color end papers in the edition, and that is stunning. Uh, but if this uh, cover is to be believed, it should be going on sale hopefully soon because it is was on the back cover. Where the hell was it? I'm just going crazy. I know it said the date in here somewhere. Oh, it's first page. It's, it has a publication date of March 31st, 2025, so a few months away. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's accurate. Uh, I know there's always been delays. You know, I mean, delays are bound to happen in this industry. It, it is what it is. So there could be delays, especially like, you know, slipcase production for a unique size slipcase such as this. It could happen. Or you can pick up a copy for yourself very soon. Make sure you subscribe to Subterranean Press's newsletter, which can be found on their website there at subterraneanpress.com, so you can get first dibs at a copy of Dark Carnival once it goes on sale. Also, anyways, thank you again, Bill, for doing this drawing. Thank you very much, Gwenda, for, uh, for picking me. Uh, hopefully, you know, this... Sharing this with people might help them, you know, open their wallets to the idea of a dark carnival coming their way. Which is not a something wicked this way comes reference, but it sounds like it, because that's, that's certainly a dark carnival in its own right. But anyways, check out the soon-to-be-published Dark Carnival by Ray Bradbury, illustrated by Dave McKean, as published by Subterranean Press, coming soon in a square hardcover with a slipcase uh, in 2025. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to check out plenty of other unboxing videos, or at least one book review a week, including, as I mentioned, a book comparison video showcasing a Suntup edition featuring the artwork of Samuel Araya, which has nothing to do with Ray Bradbury, but the Stephen Gallagher connection is what comes to mind there, as well as a future video where I kind of flip through and showcase the Gorman Gas trilogy. Uh, I already did an unboxing for that Gorman Gas trilogy on my channel, but I'm gonna, I've actually read the novels. I've, I've read the first novel, reading the second novel, will eventually read the third novel. I'm gonna do kind of a book review where I kind of flip through and show showcase the in illustrations one by one as able. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.